There we are. 4784, Jim Key's hey, place. Good to see you. Hi, Jim. Thanks Great. for dropping Thanks by. Thanks for having me over. We're no just uh, coming in to have a look at, uh, at your artwork. Come in. I Check heard that you do a wonderful job mixing colors and I do. portraying life. And this is Mrs. Keys. Hello, Mrs. Keys. Hall. How are you? Nice to Sandra. meet you. Sandra. We're visiting the studio today. Oh, well, welcome. <laughs> We're going to enjoy some of uh, Jim's work here. Yes. This uh, one is an avenue that I'm moving down. Yeah? You're changing a little bit to, to this type of art. Right? It's because it's more popular with the average person. Mm -hmm. You can relate more to it, I guess. We yeah, can, if I We can see things like houses and cars. When you show in the Museum <laughs> of Modern Art in New York, right. then the abstract is the place to go. Right. By the way, for you don't know, Jim prints beautiful cards, and I got some cards from him. And this painting is one of the cards. So The first time I ever painted really? a glass. Yeah? The glass in that one, so I really oh. got a kick out of having it come out. So okay. Well. And then I think down the hall here, down the stairs, we have some some more work. And so, oh, there's a lovely one there on the wall. Jim's got a knack of putting some colors together. It just does a great job. There we are. So, and then this, that's just burst of color. Yes. What would you call it? <laughs> I've forgotten. An inspiration. <laughs> it okay. has a title, but there's so many paintings I don't remember all the titles. <laughs> oh, and there we are. This is the living room. Of course, this is the art studio. Here, and there's some wonderful colors. Oh, I just love his work. It's, it's just great. And of course, anybody that wants to get hold of Jim, we're going to post his phone number. Is that okay with you? Absolutely. All right. And email address, and I guess you could email him. You could and come and visit the studio. I'm sure he'd be happy to show you around. I certainly would. Yeah. There's some interesting stuff here. Yes? Tell this us about it. This top one yeah. is, I call that portrait of a woman. The middle one, right? Yes. Okay. And it came from a photograph. Mm -hmm. And it's abstracted in... It looks like a hockey mask, but that's, in my opinion, that's a face, and the yellow around the edges is the hair. And then below that, I had a photograph of some legs, mm -hmm. and I had already done this painting, so I combined the two and abstracted a little more removed detail, and I call that woman with leg. Woman with a leg, yeah, well, that makes sense. And then when we go over to this one in the middle, mm -hmm. I abstracted even further and went to hard edge, I think they might call that cubist. Right. And I call that woman with leg three, and if you look closely here, you can see the head and you can see the leg very similar mm -hmm. to that one there. Right. Hmm. You know, you just have to imagine these things. They're there. <laughs> right, Jim? Yes. <laughs> And this is another step toward doing realism in landscape, but I got carried away with the pink trees. Well, but it's all part of the picture, kind of Yeah. interesting. Looks good. Yeah, it's not quite finished. I need yeah. to put some shadows on the houses, but yeah. I, if they're over the fireplace, they're usually a work in progress that I'm thinking about. Okay. <laughs> all right. And this and one here... You'll notice this figure actually is the figure that I use in that blue painting over there. Okay, we'll go over here to the blue painting. Yes, right there. There it is. Okay. And this was a step toward abstract landscape where I just mm -hmm. let it be whatever it has. With we got the, some houses on a hill there. Little houses and fields or whatever down below. Right. Sandra Fields. These are actually cliffs, and this is the surf and the sea. Wow. Personally, I don't know. People see many things. 
Yes. That's a wonderful thing about art, isn't it? I mean, you can stand in front of a picture and some people can see mountains, other people can see... Okay, which one's that? The one over there that I just propped up at the back of the couch. That's okay. one of my favorites. And it's really just about the colors, the way the purple and yeah, gray the way, work together against the blue and the red. The way things kind of flow, isn't it? the that warmth thing? of the beige in the middle. Mm -hmm. It's really just meant to be a picture that has impact rather than right. being something. Well, that's wonderful. Oh, we got one more over here we in this one. Let me get this one. Look at that. What does that look like, your people? Hey, some thinks it's what? Sea? Ocean? Yeah. Fields? And it began, I usually paint without any real idea of what it's going to be, so I painted a slash of that was uh, burnt sienna uh -huh. in the top and some right. mid blue and some darker blue with some red in the middle and then I just let it develop and kind of just get carried away with that. Yeah, then I <laughs> worked on the sky and added the mm -hmm. islands and actually it was upside down uh, and then turned it just around. Just get a detail here. There's some, a house here. There you go. There, it's yeah. a house or farm buildings right. and I added those yeah. because it needed some interest in that corner to allow the flow. You want right. the viewer to flow through mm -hmm. the painting, and that's why that little boat is there. Too. Ah, okay. So we flow from here to the house, to the clouds, right. back through the boat, and stay in the painting. That's right. the job. Right. Very nice. And this little <coughs> device here yeah. is interesting. The very first painting you showed when you yeah, came in. at the front door. Yeah. Yes. I was having all sorts of trouble getting the shadow on the cart yes. to be right. So I made a model of the cart and shone a light over it here from ah, where the sun was coming. And, right, right. and then actually you can see the shadow there. Yeah, you can see it on a table, yeah. And then I was able to paint the shadow correctly. Interesting. Hmm. Little tricks of the trade, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. And that's <clears throat> my story. That's your story. So I, I understand that you have an exhibition coming, Jim, or... Uh... I do. I have... What do I have coming up? On October 22, 23, 24, right. there's an exhibition by the Burnaby Arts Artists Guild mm -hmm. at the Shadbowl Center. And then in November, from the 5th through to the 29th, I think, I have a, an exhibition at the Deer Lake Gallery where I'll hang about 12, 14 paintings. Oh, nice. And next year I have one at the Place des Arts in Coquitlam where I will have the whole of the atrium and I'll hang maybe 45 paintings. Okay. We'll have to come and see you then. Yeah. All right. Over the weekend I had 55 up in here. Yeah? I know. I was here. It was... Uh, yeah, I pulled a lot of them down. You put them away. Yeah. <laughs> but these are great. Anyway, folks, here we are. So this is Jim's place, Jim's art gallery, and uh, like I said, give him a call, come and see him, and just enjoy, and Jim be happy to see you. I certainly Okay, will. thank you very much, Jim. Thanks for joining me. And uh, yeah, thank me, thanks for thanks, having Jim. me. So we'll see you again. Okay, bye. bye.